I mean, Ollie, um, on the back of last weekend, it must have been pretty hard to take that result. Yeah, I think our performance probably warranted a bit more. I think we got a bit unfortunate with some decisions against us and obviously unfortunate own goal off my head, but it's one of those things that we've got to move on from and uh, pick ourselves up and, and go again. How do you react to something like that? Do you, do, you, do you push yourself for a little bit more in training the following week? Yeah, I think so. You come in and you just want to work hard and sort of get a smile back on your face. We had some small-sided games and everyone sort of had a bit of a bounce back. So, yeah, it was it was like just come in, work hard and try and, and try and push on a bit. And how's the mood in the camp? Is it feeling positive this week? Yeah, it's, it's always positive when you come in. It's, no, no one ever seems to remember what happened on the weekend before. It's just wipes, wipes, wipes again and, and you go again, yeah. A lot of people were saying before the Plymouth game that that was kind of make or break in terms of playoff chances. But you as a squad, I suppose you you can't believe that you've got to keep moving forward. Yeah, you look at look at the games left. There's still nine nine to play, and there's still teams above us. So if you're taking points off the teams above you, you're going to close the gap. So I think we're going to need a bit of luck, but I think we we've still got the the willpower to move this club forward and try and get into the playoffs. So yeah, we're we're still hungry for it. You got. I think 27 points to play for and obviously like you mentioned you, you're playing a couple of the teams that are just above you in the league table so it is still possible yeah definitely there's there's always a chance and until it's mathematically impossible then you've got to keep pushing towards getting those points I know what Daryl Clark's like I'm sure he's pushing you as hard as ever to, uh, to to make yourselves work as hard yeah definitely he was a bit disappointed with training today because the team was scoring a few too many goals so yeah he, he was sort of a bit disappointed in that but we, we as a team know what we're capable of and I think we're all uh, vying to try and get in the team for Saturday and, and try and get three points on the board. I mean, for you, you've, you've been around here for quite a while, you're part of the furniture practically. Um, getting in the playoffs, if you could manage it, I mean, would that be probably one of the biggest moments from being here? Yeah, I think so. In, in this division, with the teams that are in it currently, there's there's a lot of big teams and I think we're not a million miles away and that's what we've got to be aiming for and I think we've, we've got the personnel now to try and to try and do that. It's just a shame we had that inconsistent patch during the middle of the season which sort of set us back quite a fair bit but I think yeah, getting in the playoffs would be the biggest achievement so far and, and definitely something that everyone wants to do at the minute. I mean, Plymouth aside, I mean, the club's been on a really good run over the last few weeks so the chance to maybe put that down as a, a blip or, and move on to Peterborough. Yeah, that's... So you just got to just got to erase that from the memory of that game, and it happens in football. Every team's going to drop points, so we need to make sure that we don't drop too many and, and keep ourselves in the chase. Moving on to Peterborough on Saturday, just changed their manager, uh, Steve Vevans, very experienced guy. What do you know of him, and, and what do you know of the club? Um, I know a few players at Peterborough through different reasons, but I, I think the manager has been brought in to sort of try and steer them into the playoffs because of his experience and, and he's a proven proven promotion winner so I think that will stand them in good stead and they'll be well organised but it's yet again one of those games where if we go and play what we're capable of playing then I'm no doubt that we'll uh, take the three points. How important for you as a player is it having a very vocal away support with you when, when you go on your travels? Yeah massive I think especially this time of the season when teams have got stuff to play for you could see the atmosphere that was down at Plymouth on the weekend it sort of gives you that extra edge and that extra bite and want to do more and I think we were a bit unlucky but it's one of those you could see the fans were still in good spirits and and we we know we're capable of putting wins on the road so we're going to try again this weekend. On a personal note how's the season gone for you? Are you happy with your performances? I think my position's really changed during the season. I think I'm a bit more deep lying as I was to last year, and I'd obviously like to be pushing forward and scoring goals. But the gaffer wants us to sort of keep the middle of the pitch secure. So yeah, I think personally it's changed a bit, and it's it's been an enjoyable one. It's been a bit of a ride, but I've also enjoyed captaining the side, and I think next year is definitely one to look forward to as well. And, uh, whatever happens for the rest of the season chance to push on and, and make more progress in the yeah, summer. Yeah, definitely. We always, we're always trying to progress and I think if we can do it this year, fantastic, but realistically it wouldn't be a bad thing if we stayed and, and built around the squad this year already and moved on again in the summer. Okay, thank you.